Fabric is my jam, and I'm really excited to talk about it today. Hi everyone, welcome to Frankie Dune Sustainable Fashion Resources. My name is Karen, and today we're gonna to talk about Tencel. What is Tencel exactly? So Tencel is a cellulose fabric made from hardwood trees harvested from sustainable forests. Cellulose is a natural polymer that is found in the cell of all plants. Tencel model is lighter, more delicate in its structure, and is extracted from beech wood. Whereas Tencel lyocell has a little bit more structure to it, and it's harvested from birch, oak, and eucalyptus trees. Tencel Lyocell and Tencel Modal are brand names from the Austrian company Lenzing. Lenzing harvests this wood from sustainable forests. Okay, so what's a sustainable forest? When the wood is being harvested, the entire ecosystem is being considered. The natural habitats of plants and animals are being conserved, and the forest itself is being conserved for future generations. So once the wood has been harvested, it's taken to the manufacturer and they chop it up into wood chips. In order for the wood chips to go into this fabric, the wood chips are dissolved in a non-toxic mixture called amine oxide. Once the wood chips are dissolved, there's filtering to make sure there's no wood chips left over. Spinning through spinnerets, think like a shower head, that mixture is getting pushed through the spinnerets, essentially creating strands. And then the strands go back into a diluted solution of water and amine oxide, and that sets the strands. After those strands are then washed in demineralized water and dried, and voila, Tencel. So what makes this process of Tencel to be considered cleaner? Number one is the chemical solvent is non-toxic. And the second reason why it's considered to be cleaner is the mixture, the water and amine oxide, is then reused back for the next batch of fabric, creating what's called a closed loop system. We love closed loop systems. For a cellulose-based fabric, it rates pretty decent in the process. Compared to viscose, for example, which is using a more toxic chemical in its dissolving and setting process. We're talking relative here. There is no fabric production that is perfect. That unicorn doesn't exist. Tencel is pretty damn close. My passion for textiles really started when I was doing my own manufacturing for my clothing brand. I quickly learned which fabrics I like to be using and which fabrics were giving me nothing but trouble. I found by trial and error and unfortunately wasting money and time and resources and at one point my will to live a little bit when I thought a polyester blend skirt on the bias was a good idea. No. The fabric that I love to work with the most was the fabric that ran through the machine like a dream. The fabric that gave me very little surprise when I pre-washed and dried it. And it would come out of the machine with little change to the fabric structure. What was the percent of shrinkage that happened to the fabric? Did it twist? Did the color bleed and fade? And these are all things that designers need to have to consider when selecting fabric. So over the years, I found that designers, and it doesn't matter if they're coming out of fashion design school or if they're self-taught like myself, they're approaching the fashion industry with very little knowledge about fabric. What is the fabric that you're choosing to use? How is it made? What's the weight that you need for your designs? In order to have the best success when it comes to buying your fabric and knowing what it's going to do and knowing how it's going to fit or how it's going to drape or how it's going to cut, how it's going to sew. Having that knowledge, it eliminates a lot of stress and a lot of frustration. So if you don't have this knowledge, when the fabric arrives and you try out your sample piece and it doesn't end up looking like the way you want it to look, what happens next? The fabric gets put aside or packed away in a tote. Or if you're a larger scale designer, it gets put away in a warehouse. Essentially, we treat fabric like it's forgettable and disposable. You think you like it, you buy it, you try it, and then for whatever reason, it doesn't work out. So we toss it aside. During lockdown last year, there were brands going through these grandiose, boasting gestures of we vow to use up the fabric that we have had in our storage before making more. you do? Why were you doing that in the first place? Seriously. When I started my first fashion brand in 2004, I wasn't asking the right questions to suppliers. 
I would be taken by the fabric and I wasn't properly giving my designs or my vision thought when it came to how the fabric was made or the fabric's afterlife. I believe at the time I overcompensated because I'm not formally trained in fashion design. Uh, my heart and passion, it didn't feel like it was enough. And I think in a way I was embarrassed to be curious for fear of looking uneducated. Back then, YouTube hadn't been launched yet, so searching for videos like this wasn't possible. And to be honest, I just wasn't thinking about sustainability. Sustainability in fashion wasn't talked about half as much as it is now. I wasn't thinking about how the fabric was made. I wasn't thinking about how the crops were grown, what were the working conditions of the farmers or the manufacturers. Yeah, I'm a bit ashamed to say it, but it's the truth. I just wasn't thinking about it. None of that crossed my mind. And then came Tencel. My curiosity exploded. Meeting Tencel is what really made me start to think about what is fabric. It may have been a year into my business when I first started working with Tencel. I was struck with this gorgeous, soft, flowing, dream to sew fabric that came from wood chips from hardwood trees. Wood chips. Something I would say that designers need to be focusing on more and more is, and this is hard for manufacturers, but what are the certifications that they've earned to be able to claim sustainability? The reason why I say it's hard for manufacturers is because it's a rigorous process. Sustainability certificates aren't handed out like it's a Montessori school and everyone gets one. Certifications that Lenzing has, USDA certified bio-based product. The Belgian certification company called Vinsoft certifies Lensing Tencel as biodegradable and compostable, claiming that Tencel will revert fully back to nature. It's amazing. Ah, my light just turned off. Bing. Lensing has also been awarded the EU Echo Label. The EU Echo Label is an environmental quality label awarded to products that have significantly lowered environmental impact through its entire life cycle. Impressive, but also important is how does it sew and how does it wear? So as I referred to before, I loved working with Tencel. Why is it a dream to sew? Because Tencel completely contradicts itself. While it is so light and airy and it feels amazing to wear, when you're sewing it, it holds. Tencel doesn't move around acting all slippery and crazy like viscose or silk does. Tencel wants to be sewn. That's its life purpose. Now, when you are sewing it, you just want to make sure that you're using a, a Microtex needle, size 60 or 70, or a sharp. Unless you're sewing Tencel jersey, then you want to make sure you're using a jersey needle. And maybe use fabric clips or only pin it together on the seam allowance, because as you can see, the pins I left used a decent size hole. I hope to have something made of Tencel here, but I didn't get around to ordering the fabric. Maybe it's the beautiful weather, or maybe because I was cleaning my studio space and was looking through samples. But the topic of Tencel has really been on my heart. It's been on my mind. I'll show you when I make something up in a video. You know what would be the perfect baby? Tencel and hemp. Does that exist? I need to know. Tencel and hemp. That would be amazing. If so, I want it. I want to make a pair of wide leg trousers. I say that about every fabric. Every fabric is what pair of wide leg trousers can I make? It's true. That's my video on Tencel. I hope you enjoyed it. Tencel is clearly a fabric that is very close to my heart. I hope that we see more and more companies making their fabrics in these cleaner, more environmentally friendly ways. You know, and that's something too. If a company like Lensing can make such a gorgeous fabric using such a clean process, why can't other companies make their fabrics using these clean processes? There is no reason why these major manufacturers can't clean themselves up, aside from one thing. The only thing that would hold them back from cleaning up their manufacturing processes is will, desire. In my ideal world, manufacturers would be shut down until they've cleaned up their processes. It's 2021. There is no reason multi-million dollar manufacturers to be working the way they're working. There's no reason for it. I hope you enjoyed my video. We'll see you next Tuesday.